Lab 44 wants to know the difference between the HTTP GET and HTTP head methods. And these are easy to figure out if you just duck, duck, go for the answer. But instead of doing that, let's actually look at what happens when we send those two different types of requests to the server. So I'm in the lab files folder that comes with Matilda. In my case, I installed Matilda and var WW Matilda. So under that is labs and lab files. And inside there are the different folders for all the different labs. And sometimes you'll find some handy files in here to help you with the different kinds of labs that are in the system. So always check these folders when you're looking for answers to different labs. We're going to use the netcat lab files folder because we're going to send these commands with netcat. So we go into the subfolder and inside there's already a get request and there's also this HTTP head request as well. And we're just going to compare those two to each other. So we're going to do a netcat and we're going to go to matilda.local, which is the uh, DNS name that I installed the system under. And we're going to do that on port 80. And we're going to pass into netcat the HTTP 1.1. We'll start with the get request. And we get back the entire page. And this is a, a lot of content. So you'll see just a huge web page is returned back with both the headers and the, the body of the request. And so if we go up here, here's the headers right here. And then the body starts right after that. And there's a whole lot of content. This time we're going to do the same request, but we're only going to pass in the head method instead of the get method. And when the results come back, the only thing that comes back is just the headers. Notice that the body itself is missing entirely. So that essentially is the difference. If you want to know what's actually in these files, just print them out with the cat command or open them up with uh, nano or, or whatever program you want to use. But you'll notice the only difference is, is that, like we said, one of them uses the head method and the other uses the get method. But otherwise, those requests are identical. So going back over to the page, the answer is, is that the head method only results in the response headers, there is no body returned in that request. You only get the top of that response back.